Hello there, I'm John Hall and we're Right Here Pens and today we're going to be having a look at something fairly special from Sailor. As many of, as many of you will know, um, the Naginata Toyi nibs, in fact all of the Nagahara nibs, have not been available for some years. Well, they're back. We're going to have a look at the nibs themselves and the pens they come in. So with no further ado, let's open the box. Right then, here we go with apologies to late period Beatles. This is a bit like the White Album, isn't it? We're going to have a look inside the box. So here we are, Sailor PG Nag. I don't know whether Nag, Nag stands for Nagahara or, or Naginata. Could be either. It's not a PG pen, so I don't know what the PG is doing there. But there we go. Let's open up and have a look at the box. And it is, for me, a new box. From Sailor. There we go. Try and get everything the right way up for you. So there we have. It's a nice looking substantial box. One does like this. I don't know what material it's made of. It's fairly solid. Yeah, there we go. And here we have what looks like a fairly straightforward 1911 pen. Boxes are never the most exciting bit, are they? So we're going to focus now on this, which is the pen. And it looks like a fairly normal 1911. However, we can see that there is some writing around the middle. So, Sailor Japan. And a special nib. On 1911. So we know certain amount about this already don't we? It's a special nib, it's a 1911. I've got to say it feels a tiny little bit heavier than the standard 1911. That could be complete fantasy on my part, I don't know. This I know is the what they call the silver finish. Um, it's almost certainly rhodium. I can't imagine anyone would actually want to use silver these days. It would discolour wouldn't it? But yeah, nice, nice feeling pen in the hand, as the 1911 is. And there we go. And this is the bit that causes all the excitement. This is a broad nib, you'll be able to see that. Let me just pop round like this, there we go. If we zoom in here, you can see those letters. Now, N, what are they? Let's have a look. Yeah, then for Nagahara and Broad. Now, there we are. What you will notice is the unusually large amount of tipping. And if you've seen pictures of these, I know some people have been waiting for this day for some time and have probably just had to make do with looking at pictures. You will see there's a lot of tipping and very carefully shaped to give the particular writing effect that you get with the Nagahara nibs. So there we are. Right, now, put it back together again. We'll just have a quick look to see what's in the box. It's a nice looking box. So, as with many of the top end sailor pins, you get a cleaning cloth. You get a couple of cartridges you get the Sailor Converter and you get a set of instructions. I'm not quite sure what these say. Let's have a look. Oh, they tell you all about the special nibs. Okay. It tells you about the Naginata. Well, you'll have to read it for yourselves when you buy one. There we go. There we go. Now, this pen comes in two finishes. Oh, I'm about magically to bring in the second finish, which is gold. Now, one of the things that we'll zoom in here a little bit. Looks like somebody's using the printer. Never mind. Um, 
Sarah so made something about the technique that's been used to um, put this logo around the middle and it's called the Classon Technique and it's basically using the raised letters and then pouring lacquer in between them. Um, it's basically very similar to the normal 1911. So it's cartridge converter. Here we are. The converter won't be in it because we happen to know it's still in the box. There we go. Now I'm going to attempt a writing test. For those of you that have come across my videos before will know I'm not particularly confident about my handwriting, but I hope to be able to demonstrate um, to some extent what these pens are capable of doing. Right then, this is the bit I really don't look forward to. Anyway, let's get going. This is the medium fine. This is the finest of the nibs that they do. I'm afraid this is all going to be upside down for you. Ever so sorry about that. However, if I try and put it the right way up, um, you lose quality on the video. So this is probably the best way of doing it. So this is the medium fine. As I say, the finest nib that they do. And I'm going to write my normal writing, which as you can see is not very good. Now, I mean, that feels actually perfectly pleasant. That's quite okay. Let's see what the nib does. So we'll go for some horizontal strokes and some vertical strokes. Bit of distinction there actually, I'd say. But the thing that these nibs are famous for is the way in which as you gradually lay the nib down on the paper, you get a broader line. There's also with this one, I think, quite a bit of distinction in the cross strokes in different directions. Let's try this up like that. Two, three, one, two, three. That's a good deal finer. And then laying it right down. Now, I think you'll agree that's quite a remarkable variation. It feels absolutely gorgeous, I've got to say. It is a lovely feeling um, nib, and one would want to write all day with it. Now, this nib is OK for certainly my size of writing. I don't think that causes any problems at all. Um, and then. I'm not quite sure what one would use this for. I think for calligraphy it could actually be quite nice actually. I think you're going to have to get used to possibly varying the angle of what, what you're doing, but... Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. I'm enjoying myself anyway in a childish sort of way. So this is the... Naginata Togi Medium Fine. So let's have a look now and see what happens with the broad. Here we go. Dip that in there. I'm using, of course, Sailor's very fine, gentle black ink. There we go. Just to prove it. Now this is a considerably broader nib by the look of it, so let's have a look. This is I suppose, just about my normal writing angle. So, my normal writing. And I think I've already responded to the size of the nib by writing quite a bit bigger. So there's a difference. So, let's have a look here. So, yeah, that's quite, quite a bit broader. And again, it is so smooth. It really is a very great pleasure to you. Oh, look at that. And that was interesting because, yes, very unusually for a sailor pen, there is actually a little bit of flex there. There's a little bit of something going on. 
So let's do the similar test that we did last time. So this is quite upright. Oh my goodness, that really is quite fine. And a little bit broader coming down that way. That's interesting. And then laying it right the way down. The smoothness of the nib is quite extraordinary. Um, it really is a great pleasure to use. I did try to do a calligraphy course a while ago. It wasn't a great success as you can see. I did enjoy it. Wow. I think for one nib, that's quite extraordinary. I mean, it's pretty unusual for that as well. I'm quite impressed. What I'm going to do is just have a much closer look at the nib. Um, I'll just try and clean this up a little bit. I've been using quite a lot of this Sailor Black ink recently, and it's very good stuff, actually. It's very well saturated. Um, and just very nice to use. So we're going to just take a look here. Here we are. And you can see the sort of vaguely bill hooky shape of the nib, and that's where the skill of these comes in, in giving that sort of curve. And it's that curve that enables the nib to deliver such a wealth of line variation. And as you see, this is fairly broad. But as you've also seen, it can actually write a pretty fine line. There we go. We'll just have a quick look at the finer nib, the medium fine. Um, I'm not going to unbox the broad as well, I'm afraid. Sorry. So here we go. Just clean this up a bit as well. He's about going straight in the ultrasonic bath afterwards. A good clean up, so there we go. So, again, even with the whoop, oh god, even with the finer nib, there's a fair old bit of tipping on that, isn't there? And there we go. And so, again, you can see that comes to a fairly fine point. So, there we are. I'm going to have to reluctantly track myself away from these. They've been away for a couple of years, as I say. Um, what they're reputedly extremely good for is um, writing, I think it's kanji, isn't it? It's Japanese script. Um, I can't do that. I can barely do English. But there we are. Um, I just think it's a really lovely nib to use. Um, do I want one? Yes, definitely. Do I need one? Probably not. But will I like one? <laughs> no doubt about it, actually. I think you can have hours of fun with this. And I think in the right hands, certainly not mine, you could do some fairly beautiful writing with it. So there we go. They're back. The Sailor Specialist Nibs, the Naginata Togi. Originally designed by Mr. Mr. Nagahara, the late Mr. Nagahara, what a great man. There we are. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this. I certainly have. Cheerio.